Uh, it's something you don't want to get into unless you like it. <laughs> I am a hammock weaver at the original Paulie's Island Hammock Shop. I have been doing this for 24 years. It took a while for me to pick it up. I was over at the manufacturing plant probably about three weeks learning how to do it from one of the ladies over there. Every job I had, normally it was like four years. That was it, that was a, that was a cutoff date. Came over here, four years came and went. Five years came and went, 10 years came and went, <laughs> 15. So yeah, I had no idea I'd be here this long. People, will, they'll come in, they'll stay, and most, like I say, most of the time they'll go down there to Marvin because he makes little souvenirs for them. That's his forte. My job here is public relations, but I'm the hammock maker. July the 5th, give me 31 years and two days in this building. You're working with your hands. So, you know, imagine you can put some rope in your hand and make something. You wouldn't believe you made that, but you made it. In the early 80s, I was stationed at Fort Stewart, Georgia. My roommate grandfather owned a, owned a business, and his grandfather taught me how to repair and fix cast nets and fishing nets. I went to my cousin's house, and she was building a hammock. And I asked her, could she teach me? She turned and spoke to me. I didn't know what she said. I had to go find somebody to speak her language. And a little, a little girl, everything the lady told her in Gullah, Geechee, she explained it to me in English. In 1991, when I asked them, can I paint inside this building? They looked at me and told me no. So I started teaching the kids how to make the top of the hammock and the siding of the swing teach them how to repair their hammock, how to fix it back. You don't ever have to throw it away. And they would send me a postcard for their hometown. And I would put that on the wall. I believe in child labor. But we've been here forever. Me, Harry, been in this building, and the, the original owner sold it to North Carolina. To have my name up on the shop with Marvin, um, I, I'm tickled. I'm tickled to that. <laughs>